not very good at this. <laughs> but I'm Tim from Van Dues and Axes. And I haven't made a video, and I don't think I've ever talked in a video. But this, I have to show people. I just went and I picked up some axes from a, it was a guy that I've known for quite a while, but he loved auctions, tag sales, and he did a lot of picking and whatever. But he passed away back before winter, I think he did. I didn't even know he did until a couple weeks ago. But his girlfriend has to clean out his, he has two barns. And I, my daughter told me, she didn't even advertise the tag sale. It didn't get in the paper in time. But I went down, I took the day off from work. And I went down there at eight o'clock and I told them I would take whatever they had for axes. And I could not believe what he had. I knew he had some axes. I've asked him about them, but he didn't really get, want to get rid of them <clears throat> because he, he was a collector and he wouldn't get rid of stuff. And at the auctions, if stuff wasn't selling for what he wanted to get for it, he, he would buy it back himself. And cause he really loved this. He loved all his stuff. And uh, so let me just show you what I got. I mean, this will never happen to, to me again. Here we go. Let me open the back of my van. I haven't even gone through the stuff to see what it is. I know there's a lot of Collins stuff. I know he liked Collins. But Collins Axe, the company, was right. It was about 30 miles from us down in uh, Collinsville, Connecticut. And uh, so I know he liked Collins stuff. So I know there is some Co Collins legitimate stuff in here. And I've seen some of it. But I haven't even looked through the stuff to see, to see what it is. <clears throat> but he had it like in drawers and actually I know uh, Killinger he collects Norland stuff I don't know if he has this or not this pick I don't even know what this pick is for but this is a, a Norland and Killinger if you don't have it you can have it buddy <laughs> um, and here's some this is just some of the some of the heads some of the heads here these were in another drawer that he had. And I have a few size, but this, this side was actually pretty neat because this is a local made in Winston, Connecticut. This is like a 15, 10, 15 miles from my house. And, and that's never been used. It's a cool. So, and there's some, I, I guess they call, they're called slicks for timber framing and stuff. There's a few of them. I mean, for that one, I'm not even sure what it is. There's a Collins. And, uh, <clears throat> and then there was there was some broad axes that he tried to sell at, at sales and stuff, I guess he was. But there was some <clears throat> broad axes. They had these out on a they did have these out on the ground. But I, there was like six of these, I think. I don't know, they are in here. It's going to take me a while to go through all this stuff and see what I have. Actually, he has the names on these. But that's that's what I got for today. And I'm very grateful to get it because I like axes. <laughs> and I probably, some stuff I will get rid of, but probably not, not much of it because a lot of it is name brand stuff. So that's it, guys. I thought you'd like to see it. Thanks a lot. We'll see you. Goodbye.